Yo, what's going on guys? My name's Sy Sphinx, or just Sphinx, or whatever you want to call me. Um, and today, well yesterday actually, I, I went back to COD. I decided that since I'm now at home, instead of at university, um, I might as well start getting ready for Call of Duty World War 2. Um, obviously, if you do follow this channel, which pretty much no one does, but I did transition into Counter-Strike on PC because Call of Duty was just complete AIDS, um, just adding in stupid shit. There's going to be stupid shit in World War 2, and I know that um, if you want to go back and see my um, my reaction to the reveals, uh, some of the stuff that I said was actually true, so like the parachuters coming down, they're actually a kill streak, which is just, seems OP and stupid, but we'll see. Um, from what I've heard, the people who played it at E3 thought it was very balanced, um, so maybe when I talked about nerfing things, maybe it's not that bad, because apparently tanks are only in like one mode and stuff like that. Um, but again, like I said, we will see. But Charlie and Tao did put out that there are going to be supply drops. Which probably means, knowing Activision, it'll be some pay-to-win bullshit where there'll be some other types of weapons which are better than others and it's just a bunch of crap again. But, I'm not going to let that get me down because I, I just want to snipe. That is all I ever do. Counter-Strike, I snipe. In Battlefield, I snipe. In fucking Call of Duty, I snipe. In every single game that has a sniper, I will always choose the sniper. I mean, in real life... I will snipe over using a regular weapon. I mean, I've never shot a sniper. I've shot rifles and stuff, but never a sniper. I'd love to shoot a sniper. In fact, I want to own one at some point. But anyway, that is not the point. So uh, I've gone back to Xbox One, and I have actually made my mind up on what the hell I'm doing when World War II comes out. I've decided that I don't need a PlayStation 4. Why? Why? What's the point? I mean, I'm just spending money on a console that I've pretty much got just with a different skin and playing with people who obviously have this version of it instead of a PlayStation 4. I know there are pluses to PlayStation and pluses to Xbox and they're not the same console. I'm just saying it because it's the same fucking game, man. It is exactly the same game. I mean, PlayStation will get stuff early. They might get some exclusive shit. I don't know, but... I don't really care. I literally, I just want to play it, make montages, hopefully, this is the one thing that will be very interesting, is build a team. I'm not going to build a team on Xbox, I'm not that deluded. I will try and do a PlayStation team, I don't know how it will work, but I will try, like I always have done. Um, and normally I succeed uh, a bit, um, not as much as I'd like, but normally I succeed at least a little bit. And a little bit is fine by me. I'm okay with that. A little bit is better than nothing. Um, as I, I know what I have planned for this team. And it's going to take a while. But we will get there at some point. We will. I, I hope. Unless I end up as a homeless person. Which I really hope that I don't. Um, so yeah. I went back to... Anyway, going back to the point, I went back to Xbox One, so I'm, uh, my Xbox One is actually on right now, and obviously I use a scuff controller, I don't use the normal Xbox controllers. Um, my scuff controller actually has a slight issue with the trigger, where it like, slips down past the trigger stop, I don't know if you can hear it. That's it, that little clicking noise, or cracking noise, whatever that's, it's slipping down past the, the trigger stop, which is annoying. Because I don't want to spend another 156 quid, I think it is, or 160 quid, including shipping, on a new controller. Don't want to be doing that, especially as I'm only just coming back to console after two years. I mean, the last actual video that I posted on my channel from COD that wasn't off all of my other bloody channels that are all over the place on YouTube um, was in 2015. And I... I don't trust Call of Duty anymore. I don't trust Activision to do the right things uh, at all. So I was like really hyped about World War Two, and I was like, I'm gonna buy all this stuff and do all this, but there's no point. There's literally no point in me doing it until they can prove to me that they're actually going to listen to fans, because the amount of people that 
must have gone over to CSGO with the Call of Duty wave is untrue. Because I went just before the Call of Duty wave came. So I went when... I think maybe two months or three months after Envious picked up a Counter-Strike team. I started to watch Counter-Strike and started to play it on my laptop. And then I bought a PC for Counter-Strike. Because Counter-Strike I knew was a game that wasn't going to change. Well, I mean it's changed quite a bit. But it wasn't going to change the fundamentals. Whereas COD obviously coming out every year. It changes drastically. And it, it it's a bit ridiculous for a game that wants to succeed as an eSport. In my eyes, at least. Um, I don't think having a game that comes out yearly is, is a good model for an eSport at all. I think Treyarch need to... Treyarch, what did I say Treyarch? I think Activision need to decide what they're doing, whether they release uh, like they did with um, the Chinese Call of Duty, where it's a bunch of all of them mashed together for the eSport version. I don't know. They'd, I think that would be a much better model than having this every single year pros have to get used to a different game and different bullshit i think if if you want to release a game every year that's fine but you've got quite a massive esports base really well maybe not so much anymore because you've put out so many shit games it's untrue um but yeah that that's that's my ideas on why i'm not actually going to put any money into this one thing that i am going to do is buy a new hd pvr I refuse to use Algato. I hate their software. They've never used. Uh, they've never worked properly for me. I have had Algatos. I don't like them. I love Halpage. They've never let me down. They're, they've, they're the better platform in my in my view. So I'll be getting an HD60 for the new card um, for making montages and stuff, like I said. And yeah, let's hope that it all goes well. Um, hopefully, I can build a nice team on COD again. Uh, even though I don't own the platform that it'll be on. And hopefully a YouTube team might come out of this. Let's hope that the community comes back and is a big thing again. I highly doubt it will be. But we can only dream of the glory days of MW2. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I will start making more COD videos. That is something that I'm going to do. Because I do enjoy doing them as I'm rambling even longer than this video is supposed to have gone. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys later because I don't want to bore you anymore. Um, hopefully with a COD video. We will see.